And then Peter, like, wait, you're a violinist, right? I said, yeah. I didn't know you played cello. I said, I didn't know either. <laughs> Five days, I said, yeah, I mean, if you give me a little more time, I'll get better. I can learn all the songs. There are like six songs in the movie, and that's exactly what happened. But the main reason I was told after, oh no, you will like that. So, as an actor, and I overheard a little bit when you were talking, a little your exercises here, I was in the back over there spying on you. Um, as an actor, you, you, sometimes you feel so kind of like you have no confidence, <coughs> especially when you're in front of such a big people. I mean, there is Peter Farrell in front of you. And you get all this, you know, in, this intense of, I don't know, the, the, all the doubts in your head, and your head is your biggest mess, okay? I have a saying that I take small, I make small decisions with my head and big decisions with my heart. And this is a big decision. So, but still, being an actor and all the vanity of uh, ours, I decided to follow what casting had told me as a feedback. So I did the first scene, youthful, emotional, all that stuff, which Peter stood up came that close to me and almost whisper, said, you talk about 10 minutes about this character and you knew this character better than we do. Why did you do it this way? Why was this your choice? And I looked to Rick Montgomery and said, well, my first audition, <laughs> <laughs> the feedback from Rick Montgomery was to be da 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 And he goes, huh. <laughs> and then I said, but my, my initial choice was different. He said, oh, okay, let me see your first choice. So I did it the way I thought, <coughs> and he literally jumped out of his chair, and he grabbed my face. You know, Peter, how friendly he is. So <laughs> very nice. You'll see him. He's, in He's the nicest guy. This is a very special and man that's coming. He okay. said this one special line. He said, Demeter, do not take feedback from anyone until you book the role. After, the only one can give you feedback is the director. And still, there is a room for argument. I don't need scene two. Go. That was it. Wow. Where did you get this feeling? Where did this come from? This unstoppable feeling that you're going to pursue whatever you want, no matter what. Where did that come from? Uh, I think it's... It's been my life during communism when everything is prohibited. You pretty much everything you want to do, everything you think to do, it's like first, first thing you hear is no. <laughs> you know, and inside it keeps building. How can I, it's kind of survival. So I had an extremely strong, powerful feeling of survival. And the most important thing is what I got through my experience, even in Germany with the cabaret and throughout the world, to trust not what I see, not what I feel, but what my gut is telling me. Kind of that instinct, like the animal instinct. Even sometimes goes against you, uh, I know so much. No, 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 that doesn't make sense. Exactly when it doesn't make sense, it makes a difference. And I think my true belief that I, I keep telling everybody is just you have your goal somewhere deep and all the ways you're gonna go, you can go even far around. I mean, guys, I've, it's been nine years before I even went back to acting. But I went all different routes and still this deep belief inside, I am going to do it, period. There was no doubt in my head. And even Peter said it during shooting, he said, Demeter, how you always, so focused, can you just laugh a little? I said, I will laugh after we walk out of the set. We'll go get drunk and go crazy, but here I am to do a work. And this is my Cinderella moment. I'm not gonna back off. But it's ex exactly this, if you don't believe yourself and understand that you have, okay, this is one thing that I always say, I, sometimes teachers tell me I'm wrong, but I don't believe I have competition. 
because I'm myself. I mean, there are a lot of types like me. And actually, all the Russians hate me because I take all the Russian roles and I'm not even a Russian. <laughs> and I tell them, though, the reason is because I speak Russian better than you and I'm uglier than you. <laughs> so it's the whole idea of you need to trust yourself of who you are. And I think the best thing of class is to learn who you are and find your own self. Once you find your own self, you will realize there's no competition. You're just different types. I mean, I see women hissing snakes at the auditions, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, why? You look alike, but that's it. Oh. <laughs> Once you walk in, it's you. The idea is that uh, there's a saying, which is be yourself, everyone else is taken. So the point is, the, the thing is that, uh, of course, uh, there is no competition because you're just presenting yourself. Yeah. And if they want that, you're it. And if they don't want that, you're not it. But the idea is that you have to be, you have to be so willing to show us who you really are. That's this is the key. The fear. Yeah. You need to overcome the fear. Yeah. And do it anyway. I will give you a great example if you permit me. Go ahead. My very first audition, the Ashton Kutcher I told you, it was the very first audition in America. I had never taken classes here. I just signed with an agent. I walk in, we're three people. We're in the gallery. Remember the gallery, cool picks his stuff. So we're in the gallery. I'm this snobby European, and there's two uh, a lady and a gentleman, they're a couple, and we're looking at a beautiful picture on the wall. And we're judging the picture silently. And then somebody yells, Ashton Kutcher is in the house! Ashton! And so we have to get starstruck and go, oh my God, where is he? Where is he? And so here I am following what, because the method that I grew up with of Eastern European theater is like, listen to what they ask. Don't think, listen. Snobby European, looking at art. Any European knows who Ashton Kutcher is? No. Snobby. So I'm there and I'm looking at the picture. And they go, action. Ashton Kutcher is in the house. Those two go nuts. I just turn around, like, who the fuck is Ashton Kutcher? And I continue and I look back at the picture. The guy screamed, stop. So I said, okay guys. Let's go, okay, go. And I'm going, he said, no, you stay. <laughs> then he gave me all this spiel, I cannot use foul language, I have to do what they ask me to do, this is my first time, he realizes, blah, 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 blah. I said, sir, I'm sorry, but I don't really know what, who Ashton Kutcher is. He said, what do you mean? I said, I don't know who Ashton Kutcher is. <laughs> he said, do you know who Demi Moore is? I said, oh, oh yeah, I know that. <laughs> he said, well, her husband. I said, oh, the guy that makes commercials for underwear. He said, uh, not exactly, he's a big star. I said, well, good then, so what? So he asked me to do it again, now that I know who Ashton Kutcher is, to do it again without the fuck part. And then uh, the callback was Bennett, the director who won for Capote, he directed Capote, and uh, he looks at me and the first thing he said, I wanted to see face to face the one who insulted my star. <laughs> and I said, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry, I didn't know who Ashton Kutcher is. And <coughs> boom, the door opens and Ashton walks in, he's like, here I am. <laughs> it was amazing, it was amazing. And not only, they changed the entire script. Now I became the owner of the gallery. And if you look back in the YouTubes, maybe somewhere you'll find it. I'm with this crowd of people, I'm throwing champagne, and he comes, he grabs me from the back, I throw a glass at him, and it became a whole different script wow. from this moment on. But that's the whole point. You do, of course, don't go there and say fuck to everybody. <laughs> but you don't have to be cocky, you just have to be who you are. And then it works for me. You know what works? This man, let's hear it for the meter! Yeah!